Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. So in this part, we are going to take our robot to a step further and we are going to attach all the different components that we have. Now, in the previous part, we discussed that we have two different types of motor drivers. So this one can handle less current, whereas the other one, it is able to handle more current. So this one, if I remember correctly, ends with an N and this one ends with a D. So uh, this had 600 milliamperes at the max, whereas we have 3 milliamperes at the max over here. So we are going to go with these rather than the one over here because we want it to be future proof in case we are going to add more weight on top of it so therefore we have to make sure that we will be able to do further things more stuff uh, in the future okay so uh, then we are not going to use arduino mega because it's just way too big and uh, we are going to use uno instead and we are going to attach our sensor shield with it now, at the first stage, the very basic idea is that we attach these two driver boards and then we attach our Arduino and we attach our battery along with our switch. So once we have all these components attached, then we will test simply by running Arduino. And once that is confirmed, everything works well, then we will overlay another plate on top of this so that we can add more stuff like the Jetson Nano and the LiDAR and uh, the battery for the Nano as well. So we will start off by first planning. And uh, by planning, I mean we have to make sure that when we are connecting these components, they are easily accessible in terms of wiring. So when you are uh, adding the component, the biggest concern right now would be the wiring itself. So the kit actually come, uh, comes with these two components. So this is for the battery to hold and there is a form in between this. So I think that is uh, fairly good enough for this project. So, and they did provide some holes for it and I think the the placement is not bad. So because this uh, hangs out quite a bit, we have to make sure that uh, we have enough space. Now we will bend this a little bit and we are going to use cable ties to actually have a more organized wiring. But uh, for now, we are going to place this where the manufacturer actually placed. So this will be right up here. And we have, I think these are M4. So we will have uh, over here M4 uh, bolts and these are here, I think M3. So we will connect these here. And uh, this, so this part will completely be covered with this. We cannot add more stuff to this. So first we are going to start off with Arduino. So this is an Arduino Uno and we are going to place it somewhere here. And the reason we are placing this here is that we want the wire, the main wire, to be accessible at all times. So if we have to wire something later on, uh, sorry, if we have to program something later on, we can still do that without actually uh, removing our Arduino board. And uh, the sensor shield will go on top of this, so we will check that nothing actually interferes. And it seems fine at this point. And um, we might actually connect this uh, in terms of serial with our um, Jetson Nano and we might use I2C. So one of the viewers, uh, he actually commented that uh, you might want to use I2C because it's a little bit faster than serial. So we might actually do that. And uh, but in this case, it should be fine with serial as well. But if that's a good suggestion and we can, uh, you know, again, we can make it future proof if we have to go faster, you know. Um, then um, if, if there's any lag or we have a lot of processing, maybe in that case, you know, it will help. So uh, then we are going to place our boards, uh, with the driver boards, and one way we can place them is simply by pointing them like this. Now, one way is this, where we have the wires that are accessible. So here we can see it's accessible, here accessible. This is not an issue because it's up front and uh, the, the wires they are going up but here the wires will go horizontally so we have to make sure the the area is clear here we will have a little bit of an issue 
but again if we, we it, it will have some height and again if we just fix it outside and then place it I don't think there will be a big issue the other way is we can place it like this and then we can maybe place it like this and it can overlap a little bit here and there um, yeah so I think that should be fine as well but in this case actually the the wiring might go a little bit outside so we want to avoid that it's not that crucial because we still have this clearance of our wheels but uh, it's, it's always better to keep the wiring uh, completely inside so we will place it like this and this one we can place it like this so uh, we just want to make sure that uh, at least there is some space in the corners uh, because we are going to place maybe uh, I'm not sure how exactly we are going to uh, place the top plate maybe we are going to add uh, these uh, spacers and then we will just uh, lay the plate on top of it maybe we will 3d print something that will cover the whole thing like a tank or something like that but I'm, I'm not confirmed about that but for now we can make sure that we are not way over the edge so we have to uh, allow some clearance over here so in terms of the placement I think uh, all of this is fine now all we have to do is we have to drill the holes and we can place them so both of these are already there and then we can drill the holes of these so we will first attach all of them uh, at their places and then we are going to attach the wiring if you start wiring before then it will be a little bit messy because we are we, we are going to cut these wires so we want them to be in the exact size uh, of where we want them to be so we don't want to keep this very long like this it will be a mess uh, you know for cable management so let's go ahead and mark these out and then we are going to drill them so now that we have placed our components we are going to mark them with a sharpie and let's do that so I will hold this and mark and I will hold again and mark And there you go so this then we have this and then we have this and this okay so now that is done we will do uh, the edge bridges the reason i'm putting across is because sometimes we have other markings or some dots somewhere else we don't want to confuse it with uh, the placement of our components so now that we have done this let's drill the holes So just to make sure that I don't damage the base, I'm going to add this plate. So all the holes now are done and we can brush off the axis. And there we have it. Uh, they are quite clean. I don't think we will need filing. So we are good to go right away. So first we are going to attach the Arduino. And for that, we will attach first the spacer 
and once that is done we are going to attach the edge bridges now um, we, we do not need to attach all four of these uh, as I've mentioned before I, I don't have uh, enough right now maybe later on I'll add some more but for now we are just going to add two so we can pick just uh, two diagonal ones and we can attach them So now you can see that we have completed the assembly process and we have attached the edge bridges, the Arduino board and the battery and the uh, power button as well. So now what we need to do is we need to start off with wiring and once we are done with the wiring we can go on and start the robot. So I think uh, that is enough for today's video. In the next part, we are going to do the wiring and then we will do the first testing of the robot. So uh, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.